In this video I want to show you what to look for if your hydraulic pump is stuck, it doesn't go up or down. Uh, in this case this one is working correctly but uh, just to show you a few simple procedures on what to check for if it is stuck. Uh, first what you do is uh, this coil, the square coil right here, that's for the, for the down position. As you can see it's just uh, with a knurled nut. Uh, just lightly tightened uh, that's all you knew because all it does is just uh, just supplies uh, magnet and uh, in order to lift uh, the valve uh, to make that go up and down and this is for the opposition which you can also tell it's not really necessary to have it very tight but uh, you should uh, you should have it at least uh, uh, tight enough where you can't can't easily take it off um, okay, what to look for first thing is if it is stuck, you go try the opposition. As I earlier said, this is the opposition uh, solenoid, uh, and this is the down position. So you press the up button, and just with a uh, screwdriver, it's supposed to be tacky when you hit when you hit the opposition. In this case, you can tell there's nothing there until I start hitting the button. It's, it, it seems tacky and on the down position same thing going up you don't have anything going down you have it, it's, it's quite tacky so um, if it is stock what you do is because you have pressure on both sides it's in a jam you take off this knot remove this cable just just slightly remove it and once you have it removed hit the button back and forth a little bit up and down to release the, the pressure on both sides and that should uh, free up free up both sol uh, b both valves uh, if that's not the case if it's still doing it after you replace uh, replace the cable and it's still doing it what you do is you take off these coils right here just like this remove them right there and then you remove this valve just just be careful uh, when you remove it if it is under pressure you might have to release it just a little bit for for the pressure to come out a little bit you may you may want to put a drag or something on the bottom there but then after that you just uh, remove it once you have it out you inspect it to make sure that there's no debris and that that valve is going up and down nicely and to put it back together you just simply slide it back on this attach the connectors to it again and replace the knot, you should be all finished. Should be going up and down. That's all there is to it. If if these coils fail, uh, most likely the circuit inside is, is bad then, and that would be the same as, as what you see now. It won't go up or down. It's stuck completely until you replace that or replace the coil in case the coil is bad. And that's that's all there's to it.